Hello kids! So ngayon naman, itutulong ko sa inyo sa video na ito kung paano mag-estimate ng quotient with 3 to 4 digits of dividend by 1 to 2 digits of divisor. So muli, kasama ninyo si Teacher Bean. So bago natin simulan itong video na ito, kung di ka pa nakasubscribe sa aking channel, please click subscribe at click mo yung notification bell para maging updated ka sa mga educational and learning videos. So, kung gusto mo magkaroon naman ng mga worksheets and activity guide para sa iyong pag-aaral, pwede kang mag-member sa aking Facebook page. Search mo lang Teacher Bid sa Facebook. We have here our given 1,694 divided by 24. So, our first step, round off the given number to the highest place value. So, itong 1,694, pag ni-round off natin, first, tingnan muna natin yung first number. Yung katabi niya, ang katabi niya ay 6. So, kapag ang number is greater than 4 o mas mataas sa 4, yung number or highest place value madadagdagan ng isa. So, itong 1 magiging 2. Kapag mababa sa 4, hindi natin dadagdagan pero mas mataas itong 6 kaya nag-add tayo. So, itong mga number na katabi ay magiging change into zeros. Zero. Ayan. Then, then divide natin around of din natin yung 24 so yung 2 at yung highest place value ang katabi niya ay 4 so mas mataas ba yung 4 sa if the number is more than 4 mag add pero ito ay dahil 4 same pa rin hindi tayo mag add so itong 2 copy lang natin then 4 change to 0 so we have 2000 divided by 20 so, naka-round off na. Ngayon, for the next step, we will cancel the zero. Babawas tayo ng zeros. Rule. So, yung zero sa 20, alisin natin. And then, yung zero sa 2,000. So, mababawasan yung digit. So, we have 200 dito na natira. Nagbawas tayo. Kasi, pagkuilan yung zero sa divisor, ito ang divisor. Yun din yung ibabawas natin sa dividend. So, Ito ang dividend, ito ang divisor. So, ito ay 200 divided by 2. For the next step, magde-divide na tayo. So, yun yung natira natin. We have, sulat natin dito, 200 divided by 2. So, yun yung vertical position. So, divide. So, first step, mag-divide. 1 digit yung divisor, so 1 digit sa dividend. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Then, subtract. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Bring down 0. Pwede hindi na natin sulat pa nag-subtract. So, bring down 0 here na. 0 times 2. Divided by 2 is equal to 0. 0 times 2 is equal to 0. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. Then bring down 0. 0 divided by 2 is equal to 0. Then 0 times 2 is equal to 0. Then subtract. Yan, 0 na yan. So, ang ating sagot ay 100. Ang ating estimated quotient ay 100. So, kapag dinibide nyo rin ito at di kayo nag-less ng 0 na 2,000, yung naka-round up divided by 20, ang lalabas din ay 100. Mas madali lang isolve kapag nagbawas tayo, nag-less tayo ng zeros sa number na naka-round off. So, ito yung ating answer, estimated quotient. We have here 573 divided by 6. So, first, i-round off muna natin for the first step. So, i-round off natin to, to the highest place value. So, yung 573, i-round off natin. So, sa pag-round off, ganito yon. So, titingnan natin itong number sa unang. Then, titingnan natin yung katabi niya. Ang katabi niya ay 7. Kapag ang number is more than 4, like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, madadagdagan itong first digit number ng isa. 
So, yun yung rule natin. Pero, pag mas mababa sa 4, like 4, 3, 2, 1, walang idadagdag. So, magdadagdag tayo sa 5 ng isa. 5 will become 6. Then, yung mga katabing number ay magiging 0. So, 600. Yan. Naka-round off na siya. Then, divided by 6. Kakapi lang natin yung ating divisor. Kasi, ito na yung pinakahayos na yung ones. Then, equal. So, ang susunod na step, magde-divide na tayo. We have 600 divided by 6. Yan. So, ang ating dividend yung nasa loob at yung 6 yung divisor ang nasa labas. So, yan yung ating rule. 600 divided by 6. So, unang di uh, dahil ang ating divisor ay 1 digit only, 1 digit muna sa dividend. So, 6 divided by 6 is equal to 1. Then, 1 times 6 is equal to 6. Then, subtract. 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. Pwede hindi na natin lagay. Then, bring down 0. 0 divided by 6 is equal to 0. 0 times 6 is equal to 0. Then, subtract. Pwede hindi na lagay. 0 minus 0. Pwede hindi na natin lagay yung 0. Bring down 0. Then, 0 divided by 6 is equal to 0. 0 times 6 is equal to 0. Then, subtract. 0 minus 0 is equal to... The answer is... 0. Answer is 0. So, 600 divided by 6 is equal to 100. Ang ating estimated quotient. This our first given, we have 8,645 divided by 32. So, para sa ating first step, ira-round off muna natin yung number to the highest place value. So, first dito sa ating unang given, dito sa ating dividend. So, ano ang titignan natin itong first number? Yung katabi niya, sa right side, the number, kapag more than 4, like 5 to 9 yung digit or yung number na katabi nung 8 mag add tayo dito sa 8 na 1 so itong 8 magiging 9 then yung mga number na katabi ay magiging 0 so it will become 9,000 divided by so yung 32 i-round off din natin uh, tingnan natin yung number yung 3 yung katabi niya ay 2 so ang 2 Mas mataas ba sa 4? So, mas mababa. So, ito, i-remain lang natin yung 3. Hindi tayo mag add So, remain. So, magiging 30. So, yan. We have 9,000 divided by 30. So, naka-round off na. Sa susunod naman na step, titignan natin kung ilang zeros meron dito at zeros meron dito. Ika-cancel natin. Ile-less natin. So, may isang zero sa 30. X na natin, cancel, and then meron tayong kukuha tayo ng another 10 zero sa 9,000. Dahil meron dito isa, isa din dito, ikakancel. So, yan. So, mababawasan na para mas mababa yung ating i-divide. Same answer din yung lalabas doon. So, we have 900 divided by 3. So, again, ayusin natin siya sa pag-form formation ng ating division. So, 900... Dito natin lagay. Divided by 3. So, yan. So, first, unang first, we have 3. So, 900 divided by 3. So, 9 muna tayo mag-start sa unang first digit. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. Then, multiply 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Then, subtract. 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. Bring down 0. Then, 0 divided by 3 is equal to 0 here. Then, 0 times 3 is equal to 0. Then, subtract. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. Again, bring down 0. Katabing 0. Pwede hindi na natin sulat. Pag nagma-minus tayo, nagsusubtract ng 0. Then, 0 times 3 is equal to 0. 
And 0 times 3 ulit. Ilan? 0 times 3 is equal to 0. And then, subtract. 0 minus 0 is equal to is the answer. Anong sagot? The answer is 0. So, our answer is 300. Kapag dinibay din natin without zero cancellation, yung 9,000 divided by 30, ang lalabas din dyan ay 300. Kapag ito yung ating estimated quotient na tinatawag. This hour given, again, we have 6,789 divided by 47. So, first step, i round up natin to the highest place value. So, to 6,789, ano katabi ng 6? 7. So, it's mas mataas siya sa 4. So, dadagdagan yung 6 ng isa. So, magiging 7. And then, yung mga number na katabi ay magiging 0. So, yun yung rule natin pag nag-round up. Then, 47. Nag-round up din natin. Ano katabi ng 4? 7. So, mas mataas sa 4. Kapag more than 4, mag-a-add tayo sa katabing number. So, itong 4 magiging 5, then 0, yung 7. So, eto, naka-round up na siya. So, 7,000 divided by 50. So, ano susunod na step? Our next step, mag-cancel tayo ng 0. 1, 0 sa 50. 1, 0 sa 7,000. So, mababawasan na. Ito na yung divide natin. 700 divided by 5. So, the next step is divide. So, sulat natin dito. 700, our dividend, divided by 5. Ayan. So, 7 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 1 times 5 is equal to 5. Then, subtract. 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. Bring down, 0. 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Then, subtract. 20 minus 20 is equal to 0. Bring down yung 0. Pwedeng, itong 0 sa minus, pwedeng din na natin sulat. Then, baba natin yung 0. 0 divided by 5 is equal to 0. 0 times 5 is equal to 0. Then, subtract. So, we have 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. So, yung 700 divided natin sa 5, ang quotient natin ay 140. So, kapag dinibide din natin itong 7,000, niniround off natin dito, divided by 50, ang ating estimated quotient din na lalabas ay 140. And that's all for today. So, sana natutuluan mo kung paano mag-round off ng numbers at mag-estimate ng quotients. So, madali lang yon at sundin mo lang yung mga steps na aking itinuro. So, para makuha mo yung correct answer. So, kailangan mag-compute lang tayo at practice din sa iba't ibang uri na mathematical given. Sa susunod naman na video, itutulong ko naman sa'yo kung paano mag-solve ng mga multi-step word problem involving division, subtraction, and multiplication. So, another learning math, uh, videos in math. So, meron din ako for science na pwede mo makita sa aking channel. So, iba-iba na makakatulong sa iyong pag-aaral. So, Kung may tanong ka, pwede mong itype dito lang sa ating comment section. At if nagustuhan mo itong video na ito, please click the like button. So maraming salamat. Till next time, with Teacher Dean.